Hits and Crits. What's up, Hits and Crits family? Welcome back to this very special video we can do with uh, bartender Sebastian and uh, Croelion, Leon, who is um, in, in today in this very special video on the Tabletop Simulator mod. Um, Remember, like a few uh, weeks or months even back, we talked to Chris Stobel, who invented the uh, Song of Ice and Fire simulator. And a lot of you reached out and said, this is a great format. We want to learn about the developers being such a, you know, doing such a great job for all of us. So um, the logic, the, 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 the next step, obviously, would be to invite those two great individuals who um, gave us um, the, the, the mod for TTS where and, 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 you know, God knows where song would be during COVID if the mod didn't exist during that time. So in, you know, in the name of the whole song community, I just want to say thank you to Sebastian and Leon to provide this and maintain this wonderful mod for the TTS. So. Great to have you two. Maybe we start off with um, a few sentences that, um, uh, Sebastian, maybe you start how you, you know, that very special moment in time, that day when you said we need the mod for a song. <laughs> how did that come along and how did you meet Leon and, you know, how did everything, you know, come together? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thanks for having us and thanks for that very gracious introduction. <laughs> um, <laughs> and. Okay, how did that happen? Um, first of all, there was already a mod. I, I, I didn't start from scratch. There was a mod by Z Games. I tried to play that during COVID. Um, it wasn't the greatest experience, but mm -hmm. there were plenty of features that were great. And um, a couple of friends of mine wanted to do something. They were all in the IT area. And I thought, okay, I can do something maybe just for my small community. Mm -hmm by improving this mod. And that's kind of how it started. And there was, um, and that, that, but there were always people helping. That's why I wanted to call it the community uh, version of that simulator. Um, because it wasn't um, just just me doing it. Um, there, there were always people supporting. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I don't know I had obviously plenty of time during the lockdowns, yeah. like so many of us. Yeah. Um, and that's how I occupied my nights, <laughs> <laughs> uh, work, working on the mod. Um, yeah. And after two years or so, um, uh, my life started to change quite a bit. Um, there was less time and that was quite noticeable because updates came less and less regularly. Mm. Um, and I basically looking for somebody to help out and Leon pitched in and in a um, uh, I mean he came through big time <laughs> he basically rewrote uh, quite a big part of the code base so and improved a lot of features introduced a whole bunch of new features um, that yeah made made the model a lot better mm. than it was before so cool. I think most importantly though um, <laughs> we we kind of changed the way how we well, how we updated the mod and um that kind of made developing future future features a lot easier i think that was my biggest contribution to the mm. mod awesome all right so um today we brought like a three step to uh, what's what's going on with tts right now or the tts mod right now um so we will start with uh, like the most uh, frequent or the most current uh, feature releases we got and to actually show this because i wasn't aware so when we had this like pre-conversation i wasn't aware of everything so um yeah so let's jump to um the tabletop simulator itself and uh, the first of all, what we want to talk about is the change lock in the uh, settings menu. So while I open it up, maybe maybe Leon, you can um, talk about it a little bit. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I think this feature kind of um, is is a great example of how we kind of sometimes fail to communicate updates, um, really, um, because. I doubt that many people know this feature exists. <laughs> um, and I think it's quite a useful feature because um, the change log shows you 
uh, the last year updates what what changed mm -hmm. and um, yeah it's it's kind of hidden in the menu but uh, once you know it uh, yeah obviously you're curious but... if, if something changed or you notice something yeah. something's different um, you, you you should have a look there and I think it's tremendous, right? I mean, like, j j j just the obvious thing right at the top, right? You have the added new unit, Crown Land Scouts. So you have a game, let's say, during, you know, evening times, and you open it because, you know, you, you, you didn't check for a while, you didn't check for a week, you go in, oh, we see, oh, Crown Land Scouts are in there, right? So um, it's really cool to have this feature. So, and you just, you, you, you just find it over the, the, um, the, cock, the, the, the cock button up there, open the, the settings, and down below, right over resetting uh, the user interface, you have what's new and uh, you find everything in there. Yeah, really great feature. Anything yeah. to add, Sebastian? No, no, not to that in particular, but um, obviously we also update or, um, or inform about updates on our Discord server. Mm. But it, I, I think it just has, I don't know, 100 members or so. It's just really the people most interested in what's happening that uh, subscribe to it. Yeah. Um, but there we do update. Um, so then you don't have to check here, but for everybody else, and I think that's the vast majority, yeah. I think there's a good place to yeah, inform yourself about. Yeah, it's really convenient, you... right? Because it's just two clicks, you play the TTS either way. And then you just do two clicks and have everything, the most crucial points, right, 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 right in there, right? Okay, so the the second one, which um, was highly anticipated in the chats in the community in the Discord servers, it was uh, highly anticipated and well dis well and highly discussed was the um, the deployment feature the deployment to 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 lock to, to locking it so let's 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 zoom a little bit in so um so when you deploy or you put a unit right here there is this deployment button and when you push deployment it's it snaps to the deployment zone which is that it, which is uh, specified by the game mode you play so either either 10 or 18 inches and it just snaps to it and then you press battle ready and you're done right um yeah so great feature Again, a lot of people were, were asking for it. So, yeah, how did that came along, uh, Leon? Um, well, um, I do like to scout uh, our friend Chris Dobel's Discord channel as well. Um, so he's the, the sim guy, right? Yeah. And um, a lot of people do, uh, do write feature requests in his channel. And uh, sometimes these, these requests kind of make sense for TTS as well. And um, I think that's um, one, one of the um, features he implemented and was widely popular. Um, yeah, so it's kind of an, a natural to also implement yeah. it. Lo lo a, and a, a um, by system, the yeah. way, in case you want to deploy some raiders or some other units mm -hmm. from, from cards, um, if you deploy a unit, um, you can kind of push it forward um, and then it will snap to, to the 12 inch uh, line after you press the deploy button. Here? So when I push it up, up 10, like slightly over yep. 10, I deploy? Now, now you can, uh, yeah, now you, now you can grab it and push it forward a little. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, before. Okay. So, so yeah. I deploy yeah. and then push it. I can just push, push keep pushing, oh, keep yeah. push. and then oh, snap. Push hard, okay. Like, snaps yeah, yeah, and then it's. Oh, that's it's a cool snap. one. See, again, I, I I learned something. We need to do more videos together. So, <laughs> okay, but I do 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 not yeah. play free folk that much though. But um, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool feature. Yeah, yeah. And so I I think it's great proof that uh, competition awesome. is a great driver of innovation, right? Yeah, it's just obviously yeah, cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, anything to add? I guess not, right? Um, no, I think you can, if you, it also works if you rotate the unit. Um, so if you like click and then scroll wheel, use the scroll wheel. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to activate the deployment, obviously. Um, so so better ready, you mean? No, no, deploy. Deploy yeah. is the button yeah. to, for snapping against the line, so. Ah, okay, I see, mm, yeah. I see. 
so it snaps like this. Or what Larks is, is always doing is, you know, putting a solo like this and just... Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially cool. with the chariots. It, yeah. You'll always deploy it, deploy it sideways. Yeah, right? sideways, yeah. Mm, like so, so like this. Cool. Okay, now we see everything. Or now we saw everything. Cool. Okay, so the, the third one um, is um, the area of effect, which... Um, will be there soon as i heard from you so maybe maybe uh, sebastian you can guide us through yeah, the area yeah. of effect and another one shamelessly uh ripped from the sound of ice and fire simulator yeah uh, which yeah, even though a lot that. of people have also requested this uh, yeah, yeah a long time ago well, yeah. we, we never yeah got around to to doing it so yeah as you can see while you're uh, dragging a werewood tree or corpse pile, you get an area of effect. Yeah. Uh, and also while you hover over it. Um, yeah, still, it's, it's basically done. So we could release it uh, any time. We're just uh, thinking about whether it can still be improved um, and whether it makes sense to, for example, have this for other terrain types as well not so much because they have an area of effect but for as you can see right now for deploying your mm. uh, um, your terrain it's actually quite useful for any terrain right because you need to stay yep. out of six inches yeah and to that, measure the distance yeah, yeah. Mm. exactly um so you don't yeah, have to do this oh mm. can you measure for me with your play partner <laughs> anything you just yeah, yeah, yeah see it immediately and uh yeah, yeah. yeah deploy it like that Cool. So, but it'll, it'll be there uh, very soon. Very so soon. Okay. Already yeah. working. So, yeah, we can live with that. We, I, 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 I'm, I guess I'm speaking for everyone. We can live with. Uh, uh, it will be there soon, right? Yeah. So, okay. So it, cool. It yeah. might be, might be in already by the time you're watching, right? Yeah, so maybe. Maybe let's like see. <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's just stay with soon. Let's not overpromise. <laughs> exactly. Let's underpromise yeah. and overdeliver. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. So great. So these are the three current features we see in the TTS. Um, so, but my, what my main question was to you two was, what is what what are future ideas? What are you dreaming about in your roadmap? In your what do, do you want to have in in the TTS at some point in time? whenever this will be, but what, what are the, the, the top three picks that you want to include in the TTS? So uh, I guess we start with uh, Leon on this one. Um, well, a lot of people uh, might know, or some people might know, I should say, mm -hmm. that um, I, I kind of started this repository of, for all the, all the cards. Um, and since I, I generate them uh, using my own program, but using the data from War Council, mm -hmm. um, I can also generate the, the French and the German cards. And I know a lot of people in the German community have always been playing, well, they only play in German. Mm -hmm. um, and this is kind of, kind of a thing we we want to include eventually especially since we now have have the cards um we can we can definitely uh put them in tts as well there's there's a few complications with it it's it's uh, there's always something with with software and so, some unforeseen problem mm. <laughs> when you want to make changes but um this is this is um one of the features I would want to add yeah. most. Yeah, which makes per perfect sense. Even though I I always speak in English, I just can't do German, and I I I don't know about what uh, I don't know what 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 you think about it, but I still think like when I take German cards and I compare, a lot of times. Yeah, it's it's it sounds weird. It's it's yeah. it's somehow it's unnatural language. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 in some way, right? I mean, it's, it, it's, it, yeah. it's weird, but. Russell yeah, I, I I only play in, in English anyways, but yeah. um, <laughs> but I get I, the I know, feature. I know, yeah. I know a lot yeah, of people yeah, would want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah for them. sure, definitely. But you're right. Sometimes the the translation is a bit feels a bit clunky. It's not clunky, it doesn't yeah. flow. That's the right word. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. flow well. 
because German is such a beautiful language, really. So, um, yeah, but um, the translation. Yeah, but it does not fit this, <laughs> but it does not really fuel because like, like when you get better in song, when you when you improve, right, then you, you, you definitely come to this point that you think while playing, you think through all the triggers, right? You think mm -hmm. through what's happening, what card can up can come uh, can or could come up in a certain situation at a certain trigger. And I think the German cards do not really fuel into having this, you know, targeting, mm. uh, then you have the whatever charge, you have the melee attack, you have the panic, right? So so it, it it's just easy for, for us. But I totally feel I totally feel what that people want 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 to have it in French or German. I totally, totally understand that. Um, yeah, yeah. And cool. I've, I've, mm -hmm. I've even heard people wanting to kind of Uh, write down the the Spanish and Polish Polish uh, cards as well. That was my question um, actually when I saw it. What about Polish? Yeah, the the, the big problem is that um, these languages aren't in the app, so we don't have the true. data for them. Yeah, true. So true. we can't generate the cards for them. Mm. Um, so and since I don't speak any Spanish or Polish, mm. um, I I basically require other people to Maybe to we can... write this data down for me. Maybe we can recruit there's... a Polish player from the Discord, maybe, to yeah, help. But there's there's two languages that use Eastern characters. Yeah, lettering. Anybody knows yeah. whether that's yeah, Chinese stuff, or, yeah. or a Mandarin or whatever? Does anybody <laughs> know? I actually don't even know which languages these are. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, Sebastian, what is your second pick on... The roadmap yeah well one thing that uh, people have asked for long long time ago actually mm -hmm. um and that was partly i guess due to the fact that we already had community content in the tabletop simulator always like off to the side some spawn from some some contests that we ran with um tabletop warden uh, back in the day was uh, what about custom factions because there have been um, quite a, uh, there, there have been a couple of really wonderful designs from the community. I yep. think Boardman Gaming with uh, the House Aaron, I think. Yeah, House Aaron from Shane. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's one yeah. of the ones that you're showing there. I forgot who who uh, actually created the um, Tyrell. Uh, it's Stormlord. Stormlord. Stormlord, yeah. Stormlord. Um, and, I mean, these are just, just wonderful designs. They look fantastic and people have really been craving to be playing with these factions i think there are some fan favorites there um yeah absolutely. so being able to bring that to the mod uh thanks to um basically what leon already explained right with the card generator so as long as you've got somebody who's willing to put all this into an, an excel sheet or um then You can run that through the generator, generate all these cards, and then there's an automated process of putting them into the mod. Mm. Um, and that would allow us to yeah, have these, uh, have all these factions in, in the mod. So it, it does require quite a bit of work from other people, actually. <laughs> and I think yeah. somebody's already working on House Aaron. So we'll eventually, uh, I think, have that in the mod. Uh, it, it will still be a while, so don't hold your breath. Um, but I think that will be great feature for that that the community can, community has requested um, for for a long long time already. So um, yeah, keep keep looking forward to it. It'll it'll eventually be yeah. there. And TTS is is kind of great at um, playtesting um, or True. like <clears throat> it's 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 a lot less. The, the barrier to entry is a lot less than printing your own stuff and playing it on a table. Um, I, I feel like playing these factions in TTS is, is just what what they need to take it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the um, the builders, various builders, just need to add them as well, so that you can import them. But... Not sure that will ever happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have to be, 
you know, to be honest, I, I, I'm really craving to, to, to play such things because, you know, when you step out this, you know, the meta and stepping out, this needs to be like perfectly balanced, which is, which we are pretty close, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I feel that song is at a very healthy and good state right now in terms of balancing, in terms of the fact that I, I know there are like up, like, uh, uh, some, some, some out there, some not, right? But um, we, we have a pretty good balance across the factions. But still, when you just want to step into something new, just have a fun match with your buddy, right? Beer pretzel like games. I really, I really, yeah, dig, dig the idea of taking House Aaron and again Shane, right? Uh, uh, board, board man gaming, uh, incredible. Like for years and years, he's creating such great custom scenarios for the game he's creating or he created house Aaron, which is like i i, I god knows how long that took uh same for storm lord which is just incredible work you can you can definitely find them on the on the discord server and then just check it out and play it if you want to if you're a big house tyrell fan you see sir laura's tyrell up there um as a solo right so get Get your three D printers going and uh, check it out. So yeah, totally, totally cool to have that in the TTS two at some point. Uh, yeah, totally feel it. Good. So there's one, but there's one feature that always comes up, especially on the losing side of the table. Um, sometimes it's the dice, right? And I cannot make myself free of did dice raging before. Right. I have to be honest in this group. Right. This is like a, like a like a let's say I, I, I open up myself now. Do not hurt me. But I did not a, not, not not about TTS specifically, but in general on dice. But, um, you know, if you saw something like this in the past, um, this 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 is just an example that does not happen. But, um, yeah, what can you guys tell us about the, the, the dice in TTS and what feature do you want to implement at some point in time? Yeah, I think that uh, thing was requested was basically a dice lock. So yeah. what roles have been made and what was, or at least show the average overall. But um, yeah, some, some sort of lock or logging of, of the uh, dice that have been rolled throughout a match and whether it was scooped one way or another. And I think that's that's a complaint that I heard quite a bit, <laughs> and I, I totally get it. I mean, <laughs> obviously, uh, who hasn't cursed their luck in a game? Right? Yes. Yeah, uh, in real life or be it um, on the tabletop simulator or as long as Ice and Fire Sim, I think um, the same issue applies there, that people claim these dice uh, create unrealistic results. Um, they are random though and yeah. i know <laughs> there's no true randomness but for all intents and purposes it's yeah. random and it's going to average yeah. out yeah so um where would you find yeah. this like <laughs> do, do, do you have in in your mind is there is there um will it be in the in the settings menu or will it be on the on the side like like somewhere tracking it I mean, or how do you imagine we, we are so far away from implementing this mm -hmm. that any information now is basically just random. But okay. I could imagine it being a button on 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 the dice trace uh, okay. that mm -hmm. kind of shows, yeah, brings up a, a table or like some kind of graph to to yeah. show mm -hmm. um, to show the statistics. Okay. Cool. All right. So now it comes to um, what there, what what is currently behind the scenes planned for uh, the tabletop simulator. And um, I have to give this intro story. Um, we we went to Poland to the Hegemonalia uh, tournament, and we 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 uh, were honored to have Leon with uh, with us. We, we we drove there with the team. So uh, Dominic, Tipsy Tengu, Xartanos, myself, and uh, Larx went there as a team for hits and crits, and Leon joined us as uh, uh, another German player in the tournament. And uh, and then during like you know we had that evening, and we. You know, we, we, we drank something and we just, you know, brainstormed about what, what could be. And uh, at some point we had the idea uh, when we planned our, our community online tournament um, 
I, I, I do not exactly who came up with it, but we, we all came up with the idea there could be a like like a, a a certain dice just for a certain champion who 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 wins an online tournament or who wins a bigger tournament uh, over the tabletop simulator. He he or or, or she gets her uh, very sp specific own dice that just just uh, she or he can can have right. So um, yeah. Maybe, maybe yes. Leon, you can and, guide us through this. Um, th this this rewarding of of dice um, is actually like a lot of tournaments do this in re in real life, right? Yep. They yep. Yep. they have their their special dice, and um, yeah, I think this is we we want to support more um, more tournaments um, that are run over TTS. Mm -hmm. um, so I think having digital rewards um that was a great idea and um like for example dice that only the winner can select i think this would get a lot of people yeah hyped and uh, like the the thing you're showing right now is it's kind of just an example right i i yeah. threw this sure. <laughs> together in in um, in in Photoshop in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm kind of hoping to, to do is um, kind of organize a more structure for for tournaments where mm -hmm. tournaments can come to us and um, we will create, for example, these custom winner styles together mm -hmm. and. Um, these these dice are will be account bound which means that only the accounts we authorize will be able to select them and uh, no one mm -hmm. else and i think so steam accounts right it's really yes, bond steam. to your steam account cool, um, cool. Mm -hmm. yes exactly mm -hmm. and my hope is that we do get a lot of people interested in playing more tts tournaments um because over over the last years, I guess the interest has kind of waned. Um, we we used to have a lot of people playing in 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 tournaments, mm -hmm. and now not so much. To, to uh, be fair, we, we used to have a pandemic also. So yeah, that that, that, might, that be, might be true. But I think uh, the trend is is pretty clear. But yeah, and um, yeah, I know we want to yeah. do everything to to reverse the trend. Yeah, because I I love I, the idea. I'll be honest, I love this game, yep. and um, I love the competition. Yeah, and I really like what you're talking about about giving giving something more in a, in a, in a in a in a structured way for online tournaments to have this right. To, to give to give it more structure and there is something that you can also throw out and I'm I know for sure there are a lot of people that uh, really really crave having their their specific die right so no one can have yeah. I, I even though this is just pixels right in the end when you think about yeah. it when yeah. you think about the whole thing it's just pixels like, but but it's still it's still a thing right? I I, um, I imagine yeah. if if we have a really big tournament just awarding the best infection dies. Yeah. And like we're gonna have like one tournament a year that 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 will have this size, right? Mm -hmm. That and that'll mean if if you're one of the best in 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 the faction, and a lot of people usually play with their faction dice. Yeah. Um, and if you win the best in faction, you can you can show off in all your games yeah uh, in a, that, in a, in a, in a special you're the master faction, of the faction. Dice. yeah 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 cool yeah cool and yeah. i think yeah like i i i'd be excited for that i i, I would want to win there, win, there, there win are many people that would be excited i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> all right that leads us to the last point uh what we wanted to talk about um and there is obviously as you all know when you load in your armies uh, we have from from very special uh, um, uh, people uh, in the past. They provided their um, pictures of their model of of their painted models 
so that that Sebastian and uh, and Leon can can put them in the tabletop simulator or they provide all the info, all the pictures that 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 we can all play with miniatures, right? So, um, but in um, d during the or the there were quite a few new releases, which basically and you gave me the number. Maybe you can like in a in, in a second uh, remind us all how many units do you have in the TTS that it, that are not painted? So um, a, a great idea came up when we have our pre conversation was that. Um, we really want to encourage all of you to um, to paint your minis and send them to Sebastian and Leon or over the or over the bartender Discord or wherever or or, or in the Hits and Crits Discord wh wherever you want um, sh share them because everyone will will um, benefit from that right it will be just a great thing for the whole community to have something like this so um, yeah Sebastian what do you think about it. Yeah, absolutely. So I would really love uh, for, for anybody who has the time and wants to put in the effort because it's it is quite a bit of work to um, obviously paint a model. Yeah. Not everybody knows that, but then get that model into uh, a scan uh, and into uh, the tabletop simulator. Model. Yeah. It, it's a bit of effort. You, you need to take quite a few pictures, like 50 pictures. Uh, of the model from from all kinds from, of from angles, yeah, exactly, and mm -hmm. then put that through uh, through a um, tool uh, that generates the model from it, and it's a little bit of trial and error and so on. Um, mm -hmm. But but if you if you think well, I've I've got some really nicely painted models that I want to get in there, mm -hmm. like where currently we just have a paper standee, right, instead of a three model, yeah, and please do reach out um, either comment under this video come on hits and Chris discord come on uh, the uh, bartenders in discord where you can also get updates more information about the mod itself mm -hmm. um, uh, ping us let us know that you're interested uh, we will provide some instructions of how it's done and if you then still feel like okay that's I, I'm up to it <laughs> um, <laughs> Do a scan, send us the model, and um, and, and we'll yeah we'll we'll put it in. Uh, obviously, we need to coordinate that a little bit so that um, you know we don't get the same model like ten times. Basically, sure. we just use sure. it once. But um, that that would be great. And as a token of gratitude, uh, what we would like to do is basically exactly what we just talked about earlier, so that you get your own um, Steam account bound dice that you can use cool. in your games that shows okay. your your contributor to the mod mm -hmm. we'll also add these retroactively to um all the contributors provided i i mean some i haven't talked to in quite a while i still need mm -hmm. to reach out to them if you're seeing this here and i haven't informed you already um ping me yeah but uh yeah so um well we want to make sure that that you also get uh, basically a custom die that shows that you've been contributing to the mod i think that's it's a, you can already see who painted something right if you hover over a tray it tells you who the painter was yeah. in the description um and so on but um jan koch for exactly. example jan koch who <laughs> painted example. the painted painted the 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 light bringers uh, no he painted yeah he painted the light yeah, painted light bringers. yeah cool. exactly so um but then he'll he'll be able to also play with his own dice in, in the mod uh, going forward. Very so cool, man. That's, that's a cool Very thing. Cool. And yeah, please, if you feel like that's a cool thing, reach out. Is there like obviously you will put it on the bartender Discord maybe to have this list where people can maybe <sighs> sign up and saying I will do whatever yeah. I I will do the halberdiers. Exactly. So okay. um, and also once you've basically send us your first model and we know, okay, this works, uh, you'll be invited to, or you get access to a uh, channel that's channel. basically mm -hmm. locked, like for mod contributors, where you can also see previous pictures and so on in the process of, mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, that people went through and where you can then also post what you're currently working on and so on. Cool. So uh, mm -hmm. definitely that, that'll be part of it. Sounds great. And when, you know, when we talked about it and we had like it was yesterday, I feel, or the or the day before um, I, I, I came up 
I came up with this, um, or I just, I, I just like the idea so much that there, there is something one certain individual brings up the work to paint, not only paint this model, which he might do either way, but still he puts in all this effort of taking the pictures, jumping on the, on your channel, right? And he jumps in into this and, and he's providing this to the whole community, everyone out there loving song over the TTS mod. So uh, I felt uh, hits and crits can't be left out of this. And I want to, so for all of you, there will be um, a, a, like, like a, ro a road to fully paint it for TTS. And I, uh, we, we will give out some, some giveaways for community members uh, that, that when, when, when you are a hits and crits discord member, and you choose to to support Sebastian and Leon with this TTS and sending in your pictures, you will get uh, also a giveaway from from Hits and Crits on top of these like very cool dice and your name on the on the tray and stuff. So um, if you if you feel up for it, then um, we will have an announcement soon on this, T telling telling the 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 missing pieces and um, yeah, cool. So I feel Sebastian dropped now. I think, yeah. Das war ja eigentlich gerade der perfekte Moment zum Droppen. There he is. <laughs> There he is again. Sorry, he dropped. Sorry, he dropped. Uh, Sorry. Okay, so... Um, so yeah, again, so we will have an announcement on this also supporting this initiative, which I feel is really great for everyone, right? Um, okay, so that ends um, that ends the the status update on the tabletop simulator. Any last words from you too? Um, oh God, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, wait <laughs> yeah. one one thing. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, having us. <laughs> not a status update, but that's actually another small favor I'd like to ask. Yeah, obviously. We, I, I don't want to say the mod is perfect the way it is. It certainly isn't. Um, I, I know for sure, but we're kind of, kind of we're running, running out, out of ideas. ideas to make it better. <laughs> so if you have some suggestions, okay. leave them wherever you can reach us. That that would be great. And otherwise, thank you, and uh, hope to see you around. Yeah, it, it, it was my pleasure. We will also make sure during the announcement to make a link to your Discord, um, um, to, to the bartender Discord, to, 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 to send people that, that are highly engaged, that have good ideas to, 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 to fuel um, this, this, uh, um, uh, the mod, right? Because everyone is uh, benefiting from it, right? Okay. So it was great to have you two. And uh, there's nothing more to say than until we meet again. Roll those crits. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.